Better Ricky 3, East Fark 2, outside at the AGP Arena. Chris Murdoch, the Coombs thriller. Yep, he's recalled Adam Coombs today. Um, brought him on, great substitution, and he's delivered the goods. Scored three goals in nine or ten minutes and uh, made a, quite a lot of hard work from that. But we've got to go away with the three points, which is mo most important. Do, does that show the advantage of the loan window? Because the, the player, he's he had a poor spell here. He's went to uh, Welling or Woken, whatever it bloody was, Welling, Welling uh, got the experience, got the goals, came back, and tonight, this could be the start of his Better Ricky campaign. It could be the start of his Better Ricky campaign just for the fact that he's coming back under a new manager. So it could, it could be a whole different player under um, Dean Brennan. He could be playing in more central than what he was. He's playing a bit wider out there for um, Wheeler. And uh, I think, yeah, he went back to Welling, where he was originally from. So he got his experience and then came back. Um, at the same time, you know, he's, he's, he's probably not going to start every game when Jake's Jake's here but ah uh, drop Jake or yeah, drop him but this is a it, it was a it was great confidence booster um, but I, I, it, he'll probably be in the starting lineup on Saturday um, but when do you think uh, Adams also utilised that where him and Jake were quite similar they were playing together and they was kind of getting in each other's space he came on tonight with Ross and the chemistry seems to be there yeah I think um I think I saw the same sort of thing with, with Coombsy um, in the West Ham game. He looked very fresh and when it weren't going for him, he was sort of moping around, you know, hoping that it would go for him rather than going and chasing it. So, you know, I hope, I hope he can come back here and look at it and think, well, you know, I've got my second chance and, and sort of attack the ball rather than wait for it to come to him. Um, but um, I, I do reckon he'll, he'll start in front of Moses because Moses looked knackered. Um, obviously, this is a massive three points as well because I think what, uh, Welling lost, so we would be two points clear. Massive, massive uh, win, not only because of the you know the comeback factor, but this could be the win that also spurs you on to not not yet win the league, but give you the bot the confidence to do it. Yeah, it'll give you good impetus to go on because um, we've got Torquay. I think they drew. Um, I think Woking won and Welling lost. But we've got to look at our own results, really. We didn't lose, so we don't really need to look at others. Um, we're not, you know, our, our, goal, our goal difference is probably not as good as we would like it to be. But we've got three points. You can't really do better than that. So um, at the same time, um, it will give us a confidence booster to go forward. And then we'll try and get another confidence booster against Torquay. And then another one against, um, who we play in Chesterfield when we go up there in the cup. Right, thanks, Chris. No problem. Oh, who's going next? Come on. Yeah, alright.